All right, let's take it from the top. My name is Leon Lahr. I'm currently studying a major in graphic design and communication here at the Griffith College of Art. Baseline philosophy for the Itzur is, is I want to keep drawing. As a kid, I always drew. Any time I had to myself usually involved drawing or playing video games, which usually led me to draw those very things. The first one is my current timeline. Graphic design work revolving around poster work and logo works. By three years time, I'll be interning as a junior designer for the creative or the room. Probably one of the bigger pros of this path is that there's a variety of studios in Brisbane, so travel or any sort of larger scale stuff needed like that isn't too bad. Large scan affects a lot of jobs in the design realm, but I found it's that not only is it uber competitive, but there's still that social stigma around artists and designers that they can simply get it done with the click of a finger. Just one, two, click, and the project is done. Schnitzel! If you want. Nice job! The second one is animation, if the graphic design path crashes and burns. That three year timeline? Yeah, double that. I'll be heading into extra study for another three years before I even think about touching the industry. But say I finish that degree. By that point, I'll hopefully be interning as a junior storyboard artist or a filler artist, the people who draw the in-between frames. While much more active and free-flowing than graphic design, working in animation is a very self-governing experience, I've found. Even on professional or group situations, there's a lot of long hours of individual work with sporadic instances of collaboration. What is that, like Mark 15? Uh, yeah. Something like that. You know everybody needs a hobby. The third timeline is working as either a freelance or contracted concept and character designer for either games, movies, or TV. Almost encompassing elements of the previous two timelines, you'd think this would be my first choice. It's really not. It's great to be working with so many new programs and working in an industry that you admired so much as a child, but it's still work, if that makes any sense. I suppose the best way to sum it up is through one of my interviews. Be prepared. Make sure the project lines up with your style, and good communication helps. One of the other things is, things will go wrong. Everyone is human, after all, and sometimes people can be nasty, or not care about the work they do. It shows that it can be difficult to cope with it if it begins to affect your area of work. Talk to your peers and or superior and don't be afraid to, about doing so. It is difficult in an office setting as opposed to in educational settings in some ways, but it's good to be wary of it all the same. I think that sums it up for now, so I'll let you enjoy the rest of the time lapse. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>